What's up, guys? Iggy here with Fowtech Unlimited. It is 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm about to head in, take my dogs out, have a snack, go to bed, yada, yada, yada. Uh, I just spent like two or three days on and off on one damn holster. And I've come to the conclusion that at this moment, I am not going to take in any more custom jobs because it just takes too many, too much time away from regular stuff. Um, so, but um, if I have the flashlight here, I'm definitely going to work on it. But if uh, you guys request something that I have to get the flashlight in from you or buy it or whatnot, I'm going to hold off a little bit because I need to catch up on some other stuff. Um, I have been putting May and April together and I am almost done those two months. And then I can start working on June, July and get out there. Uh, but anyways, so uh, I'm doing a inside the waistband appendix rig for the Canic SF Elite with a threaded barrel, but it has a Crimson Chase uh, flashlight on it, laser combo, and I gotta tell you what, it's a customer's light. I wrapped it in, in, uh, in tape so I don't scratch it. Didn't scratch it, but I tell you what, three attempts and the holster sucked on two of them. Um, the way this light's designed, bam, check this out. See that lip, and then that lip, and then that lip. Oh, and then there's an indent here, and then indent, and indent. This thing was a pain in the butt to block. Now, I've been doing this for seven years. This light makes me want to just stop, right? But anyways, um, I did a two-tone rig, and uh, pretty much the, the setup for it was um, dealer's choice up to me. So uh, what I did is uh, here's half the rig. I'm doing the mag carrier later today in a couple hours after I you know wake up from a nap. And uh, so I decided to go with the uh, rubber snap and just here's this. So the first and the second attempt at this holster, the gun just went like this. Okay. And it was absolutely terrible. And yeah, but there's that. And I tell you what. It was finally, it, finally, you see the way I did it. I had a block from here um, and then a block from here on the other side. It was just absolutely insane. Like I said, three attempts. This is the third attempt. A lot of wasted material, but that's the name of the game. Now, the main message on this video is it's going to happen. And you're building this stuff. You have to look at it like, okay, how can I make it so the gun doesn't wiggle, right? So it doesn't... So it doesn't go like this inside the holster, which one, this one does not. And you have to see everything like I use this right here as part of the retention along with this right here as part of the retention and it's working good. So um, the way to not get this wiggle in the holster is you physically, you need to have it touching components. But with this hanging below the uh, trigger guard, it is hard because this small half inch section is going to be the only part that has the retention on it. So what you have to do is you have to make sure it's tight here and tight up against the top of the slide because that tightness on the top of the slide and the bottom of the flashlight is what stops it from doing this. And which is why I left a lot of material touching the flashlight because if it's not, it's going to move around and then it's not going to work. So thank the Lord, you know, I've been working on this for about three or four hours tonight along with all this. And that's what I've been able to do just today to get everything out. And our local post office was closed today. Joy, because they were short staffed. But uh, anyway, so I'm really looking forward to I'll post a picture of the finished product. But there is that. And I have the other holes drilled so the customer can swap out a foamy or a DCC clip. Or he can move this left or right. Um, and then you could adjust the cant with that as well. So a uh, whole bunch of stuff. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, curve this a little bit, and then I got to build the, uh, the mag carrier for this. Um, interesting fact, uh, I always thought Canix were double stacked. They are not. They actually mic out the same as a 43X, uh, which is uh, 1.5 stack. So I'm going to go ahead and make that uh, mag carrier in same uh, battleship gray, black on the back so I can laser it. And this is off it goes and moving on to the next project. So hopefully everything goes well. Uh, it's going to be storming here in a few hours. So it's going to be nice building holsters to rain. I hope you guys are doing good. And um, yeah, 
Keep up the good work. I love the comments. I appreciate all of you guys. We're almost at 7,100, which is phenomenal. Again, don't forget uh, to use code FALTACYT at holstersmith or knifekits.com. That's going to give you 7% off. And of course, they have free shipping and they ship same day if your order is in but before 2 p.m., which is absolutely phenomenal. Now, they're in Georgia. I'm in New Hampshire and I get it in uh, two days, which is absolutely phenomenal. And that is the free shipping option, uh, which is very cool. And you know, I can't I can't say enough things uh, nice about them. They are absolutely awesome. Steve and his crew down there are fantastic. So um, if you guys don't know where to get your stuff, holstersmithknifekits.com. That's pretty much 99% of where I get my material that you see on this uh, channel is where I get that from. And that 1% is uh, these clips right here for my magnetic holsters for the belt. I only found one company that sells these, so sadly I have to get them through there. And, uh, you know, they just have to justify bringing these in. But, yeah, it is what it is. But anyways, the mag magnetic holster, I go through a lot of them. Very popular. But anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying the channel. I really appreciate all of you. Uh, I try to answer all the comments. I try to do a thumb up on all of them. And I try to look at all the emails. I know I miss a couple. They fall through the crack. But I sit there and I'll go through them. And I'll see what I answered and what I need to answer and this and that. So, um, yeah. But anyways, I appreciate you guys. Thanks again for everything. Uh, I hope you guys are learning stuff. And um, make good decisions. I'll see you later. Love you. Bye.